Hi boys and girls, today is our last day of learning about the genre persuasive letters. This week we've learned about features of a persuasive letter. We know that persuasive letters have strong positions or points of view. They're trying to persuade or change the person's mindset based on the evidence that they give. They also will provide a solution and a plan to how the change could occur. They'll use strong words to help support their opinions. They'll provide facts and evidence, and it will have a specific audience in mind. Today, we're going to read the story about saving the turkeys. This Thanksgiving, choose a new dish. Attention, attention. Dear people who celebrate Thanksgiving everywhere, you're doing it all wrong. For decades, people have been choosing the wrong food to eat on Thanksgiving. Millions of tables display a glorious-looking turkey smothered in cranberry sauce on Thanksgiving Day. But I want you to ask yourself to jump into the turkey's feathers and take a walk for a minute. That turkey might be glorious to you, but how do you think we turkeys feel, huh? This Thanksgiving, you need to try a new main course to feast on. Cereal, pickle sandwiches, donuts, all excellent choices in my opinion. Why not have a Thanksgiving celebration with a taco bar? Let your family and friends choose their own toppings. Sour cream, cheese, tomatoes, cranberry sauce, if you can't banish tradition. But please, no turkey. We turkeys are kind creatures. We are smart and have hearts of pure gold. We never hurt anybody. And all we want to do is roam freely around the barnyard without the plague of Thanksgiving hanging over our heads. We have family and friends. Some of my uncles were once happy birds who ended up being served for Thanksgiving dinner. Where is the justice in that, I ask you? Make a pledge this Thanksgiving to say no thank you to Thanksgiving turkey and choose a new meal instead. We turkeys will thank you. Sincerely, a concerned turkey. So what you are going to do today is you are going to go back and reread the story about saving the turkeys. And then what I'm going to have you do is go into the text and you are going to be highlighting different colors based on the different features of the persuasive letter. So you would maybe possibly use the color yellow and you would use yellow to highlight strong words. You would then choose the color pink and you would try to find facts and evidence for features of a persuasive letter. You'll then use a different color in the story to highlight the audience that they might have in mind, or you might even use the typing tool. Then you are going to have to use another color to find the strong position or the point of view. And then you're going to provide a solution and a plan with a separate color. So when you look at the directions in Seesaw, it's going to tell you what you're expected to do. I just wanted to provide this small tutorial so you had an idea of what you were expected for today's lesson. I hope you have a great rest of your day and a great weekend.